Hi, how you doing? My name is Derek Duga. Uh, I work here at Primo RV uh, and I'm a service tech here. Today we're going to do a walkthrough on a 2910 RL open range. So let's get started. On the front side you're going to have the electric jack. Uh, here are your two switches. This side is just a light. That's going to help you hook up at night when you're hooking up to your hitch on the truck. This side is simply going to be your up and down to get it up and down. Um, here it's going to be your manual for your handle. I'll show you that in a minute. But number one, uh, most of the time, if your hitch stops working, um, remember you have an inline fuse here. Most of the time, that is the problem. That's a 30 amp. So you're going to want to change it, and that's your problem. If you change that and it still doesn't work and you can't figure out what it is, um, what you want to do is pull this rubber grommet right here. You're going to take this off. This handle is going to be in your front compartment. It'll fit right on, and now you can put it up and down manually, take it off of your truck. Uh, also here on the front, we have the LP bottles. So here is your propane bottles. You're going to have a selector that's on the front. As you can see right now, it's pointed to this bottle. So this bottle will be up and running. Here you have a red and clear indicator. Um, when it's clear, that means you have propane in the bottles. Once it turns red, that means it's empty. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn empty. So you're going to turn off this bottle. You're going to switch over the crossover, turn on this bottle, and now you're up and running again. Right behind the propane bottles, we have your battery. So that's going to run all your 12 volt stuff. Um, so when you're plugged into your truck, your alternator's charging it. When you're plugged up to shore power, it's also charging it. Um, if you're not plugged up, remember that it is draining this battery. This is not a maintenance free battery, so once every other month you're going to want to pop these caps off, make sure this is full of water, and make sure it's distilled water. Okay. On the front side here you're going to see a little solar charge. What that is, is uh, you can buy a solar panel that will plug up to this. And what that does is keeps your battery charged for your 12 volt stuff. So you could either, if you're going dry camping, you can use it. It'll keep your battery charged. Or some people like to use it for a trickle charge. Here you also have that you pass through storage. Um, so all the way through, you're going to have, on this side, you're going to have a light. As you can see, there's going to be a little eye on it. Right here. So throughout the camp, if you see one like this, the switch is on top. What it is, is if you go to number one, this light will stay on all the time. If you go to number two, it now becomes a motion light and it'll come on for you whenever you move at night. Right next to the light, you're going to notice a little red handle. What that is, is your battery disconnect. So if you're going to save this unit up and not plug it, uh, what you're going to want to do is turn that off. And what that does, it kills all the power to your battery except the propane sniffer. That is wired directly to your battery. Here we have the stabilizer jacks with the same handle that you're going to use to put up your tongue jack in case it doesn't work. You're going to use to put up and down your stabilizer jacks. Now if you want to make it a little quicker, you can get an electric drill with a three quarter bit and it makes it a lot faster. Now remember these are only stabilizer jacks. So if the spot you're in is off level, front to back is very easy. You can use your tongue jack. But if your spot is off left to right, you're going to have to roll your camper up on blocks. Get it level. Now once it's level, you put these down and stabilize your camper and you're ready to camp. On the back side of the camper here, you're going to have two 110 plugs and you're going to have a cable outlet. So if you wanted to set up a little TV on the back side, you plug it. Here's your cable. Uh, down here at the bottom, you're going to have a quick connect. So what that is, is if you want to bring a burner and cook outside, you would get the right connect that would fit in here, you'd hook it up to your burner. You would plug it in here and you can use the bottles on the camper. Now notice on here you have a valve. So once you turn that valve on, what it does is not let you undo the line from that valve until you turn it off. That way you know for sure you don't have any gas running through the lines. So on here on the back side you are backup camera ready. So you're all wired for it. So all you have to do is buy the, the camera that you prefer. Um, and we can put them on if you want. They'll go up there and you have, there's two kinds. You have a reverse and observation, it's up to you. You got a spare tire on the back. 
And here's your ladder to get on top. You got 300 pound max on the ladder. So here is your shore power cord. You are 50 amp. So if you're in a spot that only has 30 amp, remember you have to get the 30 amp to the 50 amp pigtail. Uh, if you have a 50, you're good to go. One thing to remember too is if you're running on 30 amp, you can only run one AC at a time. If not, you're gonna start making breakers trip. So here's where you're gonna hook everything up. Here is gonna be a little quick connect hose. You have hot and cold water on the outside. Okay. Right here is gonna tell you on the top is satellite, the bottom is cable. So here, this would be your satellite, this would be your cable hookup. Right here is where you're gonna hook up your hose from where their water source is to you. So once you hook your hose up here, this blue handle right here, this is gonna tell you whatever you wanna do. So if you're going somewhere where you're going dry camping, see tank fill, you're gonna have your handle this way, you turn the water on, now you're filling your tank. Once your tank's full, you put on your water pump, which I showed you on the inside, and uh, you're off and running. Now, if you're going to be just camping with city water where you are supplied all the time, you put this down and now your water is running through the camper and you're good to go. Once you're done camping um, and you pull all your valves, and I'll show you that in a minute, uh, your black tank valve, what you're going to do is you're going to take your hose off of here. You're going to hook it up to here. You turn your water on and the pressure from the water, uh, there's a wand in your black tank. Your wand's going to spin and Wash out your black tank really clean, ready to go next time you're ready to camp. So right here behind the tires, um, if you ever use your fresh water tank um, and you have water left over, this is where you're going to drain it. This will be your overflow, so once it's full, you have water coming out of here, you know you're full. So if you use it and you have some left over, you unscrew this cap and now you're empty. Here we have the back side of the vent, uh, so if you're going to cook on the inside stove, you have two plugs here, all you want to do is pull it out and now you're pulling everything from the inside. These two here is just the breathers for the ice box, um, nothing in here you're going to mess with, that's for us to work on, so don't worry about those. Right here is going to be your heater exhaust, so in the winter time when you're running the heater, um, this is where the hot air is going to come out, so make sure there's no table, chairs, anything that could melt. Uh, most importantly, I see it all the time. The kids love to bundle up around here because it's warm. Uh, just remember that's carbon monoxide coming out of here, very dangerous. These two lines here are going to be your low point drain. So if it's going to get cold, you want to make sure you dump all your tanks and you want to pull those caps. That's going to drain your lines. Here's where you're going to hook up your sewer holes. And here, it's going to be your pools. You're going to have a gray and a black, so make sure your black is never dry. You can pull your grays and let those dump all weekend long. On top here is where we have the hot water heater. So on this particular model, you do not have an anode. You have a plastic plug, so you don't have to worry about checking that. Um, on this unit, you can turn the gas and the electric on from the inside, like I showed you. Um, all you want to do is if you ever drain this, you want to make sure that the electric side is off. If not, you're going to dry fire and you're going to burn it up. So if you drain it, you're going to put this back. You want to hook up your hose, let the water run through. You're going to pull this. Once you have water coming out, you know you have water in your hot water heater. Now you can turn your hot water heater on and you're ready to go. This switch here on the very front here is you have an LED light strip on the front. So you're gonna have one here and you also have a LED light strip here. So now we're inside of the unit uh, and we're actually in the master bedroom. So first thing, remember you have storage underneath the bed. It just comes up. Right here is where you're gonna have your antenna. Um, this is a new style antenna, this is the king. So all you're gonna do is if you don't hook up to cable um, and you're running off just the antenna, you're gonna wanna push this button on this side and all you're gonna do is turn it until you catch the best, you, your picture becomes clear, you're gonna leave it right where it's at. So there's no more cranking up and cranking down. It's gonna sit right where it is, even when you leave. Uh, so here is where, if you wanna mount a TV, you wanna stay center of this sticker. That's where the back is in the wall for the TV. Now, if you notice here, that's where you're gonna plug up your cable and your 110. Right here, you have a little button. 
it's off now it's on that's your booster for the antenna so if you're going to be using just the antenna with no cable you're going to want to have it on so you can catch more channels um, if you're going to hook the cable up to the camper a lot of times what happens is your picture's distorted and you can't get it clear. So what you're gonna wanna do is come in here and turn this amplifier off because it's making your picture distorted and you should be fine. Here you're gonna have a manual vent. All you're gonna do is turn it. It'll open up and let the heat out. Just make sure it's closed. Here in the bathroom, there's not a whole lot to go through, uh, but the couple of things I wanna talk about is number one, this is where your GFI is gonna be. So if your plugs don't work, this is where you're gonna wanna reset it in here. So if this lights on, you trip, press it, lights off, you're good to go. Number two, make sure that the shower door is latched closed. Because if you take off and it's not latched, this is gonna swing open and it will break. You also have a vent and manual open here in the restroom also. Here is your smoke detector. So this is gonna run off a nine volt battery. So every once in a while, you're gonna wanna check it just like your house, make sure you have power and that it's working right. Here on the wall is your two thermostats. Um, this one's gonna be for your back AC. That's gonna be for your front AC. Be the same thing, it's gonna have three modes. You're gonna have an off, um, auto, fan, and then AC and furnace. So this will run your AC for the back. Your furnace is gonna be tied into your front one. That's where you run your furnace. Um, down here is where you're going to have your propane sniffer. So this is directly wired to your battery. So as long as you have battery, this is going to work and you don't have to worry about it. Uh, one thing I want to say about these is just remember that these are sensitive. So, um, three things to check if it goes off. Of course, number one is propane leak. Make sure you don't have a propane leak. Um, but you're going to smell propane, but just check it. Number two is going to be if you spray Lysol or Glade or anything with heavy perfume. If you spray close to this and it falls on it, a lot of times it will make it go off. Uh, and number three, if you save this camp and you don't plug it and your battery is running low, your 12 volt, when it gets to a certain charge, it will go off to let you know that you're fixing to not have the propane sniffer. So straight across from the propane sniffer, this is where all your breakers and fuses are located. This is your box. So everything's labeled and your fuses on this side. Good thing about this is you notice they have a little window here. So if you ever see a little red light glowing, you're gonna open it, find which light it is, and that tells you which fuse is burnt. So we're here at the ice box. Um, first thing you're gonna wanna do is once you get to your spot is put on a bottle. You always wanna put a bottle on whether you're cooking or not, because this is gonna use it. Here you're gonna have auto and gas, so when you're on auto, um, your bottle's on, you're plugged in. If y'all leave and go do something while you're camping uh, and electricity turns off, this will automatically switch to gas to make sure that everything stays cold. And electricity is always first. So if it comes back on, um, it'll switch back to electric for you. That way you're not running on propane. Here in the middle, it's simply off. And then if you put it on gas, you have a bottle running. Now you're running on just gas for those long trips or no electricity. On the end, this is just your temperature. So how cold you want it, and you'll be off and running. So here on the stove, uh, real easy. All you're gonna do is pick whatever burner you want. You're gonna turn it on. On this side, you have a spark. You're gonna turn it, and when the gas is hooked up, it'll light that one for you, and you'll be good to go. So here on the oven, uh, we don't have a spark, so you're gonna have to light it yourself. So what you're gonna do is put it on pilot, you're gonna press and hold this button. You're gonna light down here where your pilot is. Once you see the little blue light, you're gonna press and hold this for about 10 seconds. Let it purge, let it go, and then you're good to go. Just one thing is when you're done baking, make sure you put it in the off position. That way your pilot light don't stay running. Here we are at the entertainment. Um, here on the TV, you're gonna have a swing plate so you can pull it out and kind of set it wherever you're sitting. It'll let you see. Down here you have the fireplace, uh, comes with a remote. You're gonna have five buttons. You're gonna have an on and off, you're gonna have a dimmer, the heat, the temperature, and the timer. Um, this one here is just electric, so it helps you. You don't have to use any propane. Uh, you can also run just the lights without heat coming out if you wanted that. Here is your radio. Now this here is gonna be your radio, your CD player, and your DVD player, so it's already hooked up. 
So if you want to watch a movie, you can watch it. Um, you're going to have two zones. Zone one would be your inside, which will come out of here. Zone two is your outside speakers. So the sofa on the back folds out to make a full-size bed. Uh, you have your recliners and the little booth dinette also makes a bed. So you would fold the legs, table would go on here, and these two would fill in the middle to finish your bed. So here we have the control panel for your unit. Um, here is going to be your water pump for when you go dry camping. You're going to fill your fresh water tank, put that on, that's running through the camper. This is your interior lights. This would be your exterior lights on the outside. This right here is how you're going to work your hot water heater. So this side would be your gas and that will light by itself. This side would be your electric. So you can work them both from the inside. On this unit, you have two awnings. Uh, this one will run your first awning, which is on the main door, and this is the one on the slide. This here it will be your slide one and slide two, be your living room and your kitchen. And here is where all your levels are. So this is your battery, you got your fresh water, your black water, your gray water. And on this one, it has an auxiliary, which it doesn't have the tank, but this is a generic board. So if you'd have like a wash and dryer, that's what that would be for. I would like to say congratulations on the purchase of your new open range camper. And I would like to say welcome to the Primo family.